Hey guys, just a quick mod spotlight update here. I'm introducing a rating system to my spotlight videos to give the mods a rating. It might prove useful to those of you who actually listen to critics. For each mod, I'll be giving away some of my precious diamonds as a rating, ranging from half a diamond for those that call reskinning a block a mod, to five diamonds for those epic modders who are creating the most awesome mods imaginable. In addition to this, those mods that get 5 stars are eligible for my special Stamp of Epicness award. This is for those mods that are not only the creme de la creme of mods, but the mods that greatly improve the gameplay of Minecraft, and may even be things that Jeb and the team should be incorporating. Now that you guys get the gist of the system, it's time to bring the previous mods that I've spotlighted up to date. Wintercraft, the first mod I ever spotlighted, gets two precious diamonds. It was a nice way of getting snow in your world for those that may have had difficulty getting it. Next up is Widdix's Christmas mod. I'm giving this mod three diamonds as it gave a nice feel to Minecraft during the festive season. Then comes Christmas Craft. I gave three and a half diamonds to it as it had the base features of Widdix's Christmas mod, but also had a few extra things that really made it awesome. And last, but certainly not least, is the Clay Soldiers mod. This was honestly the most fun I've had with Minecraft mods. Not only does it allow you to create your own miniature armies and have them battle it out, you can customize them to your heart's content. The Clay Soldiers mod is packed full of features and has great support. So not only does it get five of my precious diamonds, it gets my highly coveted Stamp of Epicness. Well, that's about it for now guys. Hope you like this Mod Spotlight update. Until next time, I'm out.